Hello again. In this video we are going to demonstrate different methods of timing using your internal HMI functions and macros. So let's get started. In the interest of time I went ahead and made a little project ahead of time. Uh, I've got two different categories up here. I've got one is a timer method. Uh, this uses uh, internal timers, which is a function that we've got built in. And the other, of course, is using macros. Uh, the timer object can be found on the object tab under time related and timer. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up the one I made here. Within this interface you can do a few things. You can uh, actually name the timer. I called it on delay timer one. Uh, you can choose the type of timer or the mode of the timer. I've chosen on delay. Uh, your choices are also off delay, pulse, accumulated on or off delay. I've chosen a one second time base and you can also choose a 0.1 second time base. We've got our input bit LB0 that would be linked to this switch right here. When it is on we are actually timing we're doing our function it enables the timer. Our output bit is the bit that will be triggered in this case on when our time is complete that would be this lamp right here. Our measurement bit LB2 is actually on while we are timing and uh, that would be this lamp here. We've got our preset register. We could either do a constant time base or a preset. I've chosen RW0 and then we've got our accumulated time register. Uh, that's where we place our elapsed time within our timer while it's timing and I've chosen LW0. Go ahead and OK out all this. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, run an online simulation. Let's go to our project tab and or offline it doesn't matter I don't I'm not running a uh, driver in this uh, in this example. So since I used a retentive register for my set point, it kept my last set point in there. I had five seconds. So uh, we'll go ahead and enable our timer. As you can see, it's timing. And here's our elapsed time. And now it's over. And it's just that simple. The next method I want to talk about is the uh, macro method. So let's go ahead and bring up our macro library. And uh, we'll talk about this first timer first. Um, we've got an enable bit. Uh, we've got an on time. This is the internal clock in a 12 hour format hour and minute settings for the on time and hour and minute setting for the off time and then we've got an output bit so uh, anyway that's all in this uh, timer one macro I've written here so we'll uh, go over the uh, what I've done here in the macro uh, I have to find uh, some short objects. Um, I've got an array, a short array of four uh, that I'm using for my user data. That's my uh, uh, on and off time settings. And, um, and then we're moving those into these more uh, noticeable object names here. We've got the on hour, uh, on minute, off hour, 
and uh, off minute and so we're extracting those out of the array so we can use them down here uh, we're also doing a uh, git for the uh, 12 hour format hour and the local HMI minute uh, we could also do an AM or PM or use the uh, the uh, 24 hour format if we chose uh, but I didn't uh, do all that in this example uh, and then we've also uh, have our enable bit LB10 uh, that we're getting the state of that we're periodically cycling this macro on a uh, on a uh, thousand millisecond time cycle so uh, down here in the uh, in the macro uh, we're doing we've got all our data loaded into these objects here so uh, we're doing a compare and if statement and if enable equals one uh, then we will go and we'll check the hour if the hour equals our on hour set point and our uh, minute equals the on minute set point then we will set this bool value of timer out to 1 and write that value to LB11 here that's our output bit uh, it, or if it's enabled and the hour equals the off hour and the minute equals the off minute then we write a zero to our timer out object and write that value to our output bit that will be 11 and at the same time when we turn it off we also turn off our uh, our enabled it enabled equals zero and we write that to our enable bit that will be 10 so uh, we can go ahead and do a simulation to show how that works so right now the uh, current time is 137 so I'm gonna set my off time for 138 and my on time for 1 let me enable it first 37 and so of course it came on now we'll just wait out this uh, 30 seconds and wait for it to turn off bit went off and our enable bit turned off so go ahead and close that out so um, I'm gonna pull this down I'm gonna uh, maximize this and um, try and fit this in one full screen so if you guys want to recreate some of this code you can see it That's uh, long enough. So let's move on to the next macro. Uh, this macro has an enable bit, a uh, start time, and a uh, run time in seconds. Uh, it also uh, has a timing bit to show when it while it is timing and it has a uh, a uh, an output bit now this also can be used as a uh, as a uh, reset bit 
um, because in this we're only doing to the resolution of a minute and if you were to turn off the uh, the bit while it was enabled um, it would uh, it would turn this back on again so what I did I went ahead and added into after I tested it originally I went ahead and added into it the same function to turn off the enable bit at the same time to eliminate the need for that reset bit so let's go ahead and take a look at that macro uh, much the same as uh, the other that in here um, we've we're defining uh, our short objects our minute uh, on our on minute off hour off minute and then we have a uh, runtime object now I did this in short and because that's a short value and uh, we're bumping it up by uh, a lot to turn it into milliseconds uh, you're kind of limited in the number of seconds that you can use but I could have made that a float and um, and gotten a lot more um, uh, seconds out of it and I'll explain that a little further uh, when we get down to it we've got our bull objects timing timer out and enabled and of course we've got the same uh, short array user data that we uh, used in the last macro and we've also have a, uh, a short temp object so uh, what we're going to do we're going to get the enable state that's LB20. We're going to get the uh, hour state, LB90. Uh, right down here, I'm getting the uh, hour directly from LW9049. Um, and the minute from LW9018. And uh, we're getting our user data uh, starting at RW20 and uh, then of course we're moving that data into our other more readable noticeable named objects so we get the uh, state of timing and uh, so we don't keep turning it on uh, every second and so um, what we do here uh, that normally the state of that would be zero if we're enabled and we are timing we compare the hour to our hour set point and the minute to our minute set point both of those equal up um, we will put a one in timer out and set that value to our output bit it'll be 21 uh, we'll put a one in timing and write that to our timing bit it'll be 22 we're going to take our temp value, which at this point is null. We're going to take our runtime set point and multiply it times 1,000, turning it into milliseconds. We're going to do a delay for that number of milliseconds. Then we're going to set a value of 0 to our out timer object and write that value into our output bit. That will be 21. Uh, we're going to write 0 to enabled and 0 to timing at the same time. So uh, let's go ahead and um, do a simulation. So uh, we're going to set our start time for 1 or, I'm sorry, 2. Uh, clock and we're gonna let it run for 10 seconds so here you see we're timing our 10 seconds was up uh, our output bit and our reset bit and our enable bit turned off so um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do something a little different here. I should have showed the leading zeros on uh, these 
on these minute Now when we enter in like two o'clock, um, it will show the two zeros. And uh, last but not least is our last timer. Um, we've already went over a lot of these elements. Um, it just has an enable bit, a run time, and an output bit. So uh, we'll go ahead and look at that macro. That's timer three. Um, I still have all this other stuff in here and you know because I just copied the uh, the macros and um, and took out and added what I needed so uh, we're really not using any of this uh, data here any of this uh, just basically runtime and uh, and enable so um, what we do is we get the enable state and we get the runtime um, if enabled equals one, then we set timer out to one, write that to our output bit. Uh, we do our, here we're putting the value of a runtime times a thousand into temp. We do a delay for our temp value. Once that delay is up, we uh, write a zero in the timer out and write that value to our output bit lb31 we write a zero to our enable object and write that value to our enable bit lb30 so let's uh, go ahead and simulate this macro I've got a runtime set of five seconds. I enable. We're timing. And now we're done. And it's as simple as that. Uh, we do have another uh, function uh, related to uh, timing that's built in. It's our uh, scheduler object and um, I will do a video in the near future on scheduler it gets kind of involved and uh, I will also do uh, include in that video how to reproduce that same function with a macro thanks for watching and be sure to come back and watch more of our instructional videos